Hey gang, great to see you. Hope you're getting those leases. I want to give you a tip. There's a mistake that most of us, if not all of us that work in property management, well, we make this mistake. It has to do with this guy, <laughs> the telephone. We all make this mistake and we make the mistake for all the right reasons. We want to be a professional, right? We want to be polite. We want to make sure that we're talking to the right person. Well, even though we make this mistake for the right reasons, it's still the wrong mistake and it still puts us in such a terrible place. What is this mistake that I'm talking about? What I'm talking about is when we call our prospects, let's say they filled out a, a request for information on the website or they had visited the property a couple weeks ago and they gave us their name and number. Maybe it's somebody who just had a tour this morning or yesterday and we're following up with that prospect. The mistake that we make and we subconsciously do this with business calls is we verify that the person who just answered the phone is the person that we want to speak with. So we say some derivation of, let's say it's David Johnson that we're calling beep, boop, 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 boop. I call David, David answers the phone. Hello, hi, is this David Johnson? Or may I please speak with David Johnson? Or hi, David Johnson, any derivation of that, okay? You're doing that because you want to be professional. You're doing that because you want to be polite. You're doing that because you want to make sure that you're, take, that you're talking to David Johnson. Our data shows it's a less than 1% chance that you've got the wrong phone number, okay? So less than 1% of the time, you're gonna not have David Johnson on the other end of the line. So don't worry about that. There's a 99% chance the right person answered the phone. However, if the right person answers the phone and you ask them, hi, is this David Johnson? There's a 100% chance that they're gonna be like, ah, annoying salesperson, right? Think about that. Think about the last time somebody called you and was like, hi, may I please speak with Gina, right? When somebody calls me, it's like, hi, may I please speak with Matt Easton? Click, I don't even let them get my name out. I just hang up, right? Because immediately I'm like, this is a salesperson. They don't even know who they're calling and they're wasting my time. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Even if you're not certain that it's the right person that answered the phone, I want you to trust in me. It's a 99% chance it is the right person. I want you to say, just like you're calling your friend that you've known for 100 years, I want you to say, hey Matt, it's Stephanie from Forest Meadows Apartments, right? Say your name, how you're connected. Now, if there is a connection, hey Matt, it's Stephanie Forest Meadows, you would ask for information on our two bedrooms, okay? So say your name and how you're connected, okay? Then the third thing I want you to do is not say anything, stop talking. So beep, boop, 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 David Johnson, right? David Johnson answers, hello. Hey David, it's Matt Easton from Forest Meadows Apartments. And then I'm not gonna say anything. And I'm gonna let David respond. Oh, hey Matt, how's it going? Hi, you had requested information on our two bedrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I get you information on? Oh, I wanted to know about your price. So you're gonna state your name, just jump right in. Hey David, it's Matt Easton with Forest Meadows Apartments, right? Then don't say anything at all, let them make the next move, and then you're gonna go with your talk track. Avoid at all costs confirming who the person is that you're calling. You're gonna lose all credibility with them. They're gonna hang up on you or they're gonna rush you off the phone. I hope this helps. Hey, please subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Please give the video a like if you find this helpful and let me know any questions that you have. I'm here for you. This is the best investment I've ever made. I've been in the property management industry for, I'm on my third year and I have never got a lease signed that fast. My name is Matt Easton and I'm the founder of Leasing University. I've worked with thousands of leasing consultants and property managers just like yourself to help them get better, to help them get more leases. I love the way that Matt pushed the leasing professionals to think about how people think. I've developed Leasing University just for you. You and I are gonna work together virtually from your phone, from your tablet, from your PC. I'm gonna be here to coach you every step of the way, 24-7, 365. You and I are gonna work to get you better, to help you get those leases. 
The way people rent apartments is totally different today than it was yesterday. Renters have more access to information than they've ever had before, and they've got more choices than they've ever had before. I just got my first deal as a leasing consultant, and I haven't even been in a leasing game in a week. I started on Monday and today is Sunday and I got my first two deals. It really taught me how to go the extra mile and really gave me the why behind the important things that, it, that you have to do when you are leasing and meeting with people and connecting with them and you know helping them choose their home. My name is Kayla and the one thing I like about Leasing University is it teaches you how to do property management and leasing and make the best out of all of it. Everything that you need to know to get better, to hit your occupancy goals, to make more money, to advance your career as a leasing consultant, it's all right here for you at Leasing University.